today is uh, Saturday, March 21st. Uh, I'm gonna work today on one of the most, one of the things I've been looking forward to the most, and that is building the bed. The plan is to do a uh, slat bed that slides out. So uh, when the bed is uh, in travel mode, or, or normally it'll just be pushed in, hopefully there'll be some cushions back here that I can lean up and have a nice place to sit. And then uh, hopefully it'll slide out and give me a, a rough 32 inch platform or something like that to uh, sleep. Uh, I haven't ordered mattresses or anything. I've got a couple of cot mattresses that I can use in the short term for sleeping, but uh, eventually I want to get, uh, I'm thinking probably a six inch memory foam and cut it up into some different mattresses that I can uh, maneuver around a little bit. But that's uh, step two. <laughs> step one is let's build a bed frame. So let's go to the shop today and see how far I get. All right, so a quick look at what my bed's going to be. It's just going to be a big rectangle. This is top view. Then I'm going to have a sliding piece that slides out. This is the side view. Uh, here's the elevation on the side. I've got a little cut list here. These are just mostly like little notes for me to work through some ideas. But uh, now that I have a rough cut list, I'm going to start cutting some wood. I'm fortunate that I got a little bit of a uh, access to a workshop here. Let's give her a try. I've got my rough stock all cut out now. Let me show you what I'm using here. So this is, uh, my legs are going to be this Baltic birch plywood. I like this plywood better than regular plywood. It's got a lot of different, let's see if we can zoom in here. A lot of different layers here. I think there's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. I think this is 13 layer plywood as opposed to regular plywood that has like four plies. So I find this stuff is uh, very strong. Uh, sometimes called Russian birch or uh, Baltic birch. There are some different grades of it. I notice that this grade does have a few little voids here. Not bad though. So uh, I'm also going to be doing a half lap construction here. So a half lap is uh, when I glue these up I'm going to have one up a little prouder than the other and then I'm going to have another piece coming across there. So that means that it doesn't have to be quite as wide. You know, space is a consideration on this van. So doing a half lap joint, I can have a real strong joint. Half laps are very strong. Uh, so that's going to be the basic construction that I'm following here. Uh, these legs obviously have to be laminated. So one of the first steps I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, cut the half lap here. So I'm going to cut these down uh, to size so they fit nice on the pieces where I'm going to use them. And then I'm going to glue all these legs together, and that glue is going to make a real strong leg. I have no, I have full confidence in these legs. And so there's going to be one of these rails on the back of the bed, one on the front of the bed, and then the slider bed that comes out will have its own rail. Each one of these will have three legs on it, so there's going to be actually nine legs holding this bed. I think it'll be plenty strong and relatively light. You know, I see other people build out of two by fours, which is great if that's what you have. Uh, I just had this wood sitting around for some other projects, so finally putting it to use. These are one and a half inch square legs. So uh, after they're glued up, I'm going to drill a hole in here, and I've got some leveler feet that I'm going to come out here. So these legs are actually going to be an extra inch taller and adjustable. So I can adjust the height a little bit here. Uh, the legs, the adjustable legs I got are about three inches tall, so I can go, so I, and I'm a little unsure on exactly how tall to make it. If I need to raise it up a little bit higher to get, you know, something, some other storage underneath it, I'll have a little adjustability. Also in the van where the feet are going to come down, you know, there's those core undulations or whatever in the van floor, and I can kind of dial in the height a little bit. So now that I have my uh, table legs glued up, this is the half lap joint that I was talking about before. There'll be a rail that comes across here. 
I need to go in and uh, screw a hole in here so that the legs, the adjustable legs, will go in here and ultimately they'll be adjustable how high they can go. The way I'm going to do that, I've got a drill bit with a stop collar on it. It's going to be deep enough to go in there. So this is a T-nut. T-nut goes in there and we just hammer it in, although I want to sand these down before I hammer it in. And that gives you a threaded place that then you can thread this leg on. So this will be the foot, the adjustable foot on every leg of my couch. Now that I got my legs done, I'm going to attach the uh, the back stretcher. So notice how this is the half lap. So they're going to go just like that. I'm going to make sure they're nice and square as I put them in here. I'm going to put a little glue right here. I'm also going to attach a couple of screws. Uh, I've got these uh, furniture making Robertson screws. Your square head screws. They're overkill for this application, but I have them on hand, so I'm going to use them. One and a quarter inch length, so they shouldn't protrude through. I'm going to have to give them a, I'm going to give them a little countersink, not much. I'm going to use this countersink set that I haven't used much in the last few years. It's by Fuller. But uh, let's see, so these are size 8. Let's see, six, is it 14, 12, 10, 8. So I'm going to use this kind of drill bit right here. Nice thing about these bits is that they've got a taper to them and they will drill a countersink as we go. the first part of the bed frame. It's about 73 inches long. Next I'm going to cut these sides. So the board that goes from here to here. Alright, so this is where we stand at the end of the first day. Oh, so here's a close-up of what this joint looks like. So this is all attached. Uh, you can see the half lap joints are right here. So this piece is resting on this piece, which is glued to this piece. This side piece is just screwed in. It doesn't need a whole lot. So then next I'm going to mount uh, these outside feet are going to be here. And then I got another board that runs across. So the, the reason I'm doing all this is that once this board is here, I can slide this out. <laughs> And uh, on this board, every other slat, so there'll be a board here, and every other slat will slide with it so it'll make an expanding bed. So uh, next step's going to be to attach this top piece, I think.
second, I got the basic bed frame in. So a uh, little change of plans though. I did cut it down about uh, four inches narrower. You know, I had it uh, just a little too wide before. So if I come in here, I look at this door. I had it out to about here and that was just too much. It just wasn't leaving enough room back. It would have been more comfortable to take a, a nap on, <laughs> but uh, it seemed like it was just too far to sit down here and lean up against here. Uh, now it seems like it's a little better oriented. Uh, keep in mind that the slider, I don't have the slider board right here, so this actually comes out another two inches. So it should mostly cover this tote. And I had kind of built this so that the totes would fit underneath the bed that I had, but you know, I can always buy new totes. I think having a little bit more uh, room up here to build a little bit bigger cabinet over here than what was going to be left if, with the wider bed, I think was more important. And plus, since this is going to be a slider, I'll be able to slide this out plenty big to make it comfortable to sleep on, but have a small enough to be comfortable to sit on. My other thought is originally, you know, I kind of wanted it to be set up to where I could just, you know, take a quick little nap on it sometime if I was up early doing some things. But, you know, since I turned that front uh, chair around, it's comfortable enough that, uh, you know, a quick little cat nap can be done on that thing if I need to. So, still evolving here. So next step, I'm about to put the finish on this thing. I'm going to take it out and do one final quick sanding of a few spots. And then I'm going to start laying out the uh, slats. And so the slats are going to go across here. I'm going to custom fit to, to fit in here a little bit better. You know, so the slat will come in around here. So I'm thinking when I, uh, you know, that just gives me an extra, geez, an extra probably four inches of width here when I'm laying down. Uh, the cushions are going to come back here and be supported and then when this slides out, you know, there'll be a back cushion. When this slides out, that back cushion will come down here somehow. So, uh, anyways, that's where I am now. Time to start doing some uh, finishing. bed slats so I'd put a little bevel on them here just so when they slide they don't bind up we'll see how that works okay so first test fit these boards aren't attached right now they're just all sitting in there just checking the spacing looks like I'm gonna be alright on the spacing if I do about 3 8 of an inch it's more or less a uh, bit of clearance Worked out good that these uh, both the outside ones will slide, which I would rather have that work that way. So uh, this piece will stay here to support the outside edge. So anyways, it's all going pretty good. So I beveled all the insides of the sliding pieces. Actually, I beveled all the edges of all the pieces. The ones that aren't sliding, and I turn them around. And it's still in that way, so the bevel's on this edge. Because uh, when this shuts, I don't want this board down here to catch here. All right, it's done. Got it all installed. Got the slats nailed down. Feels good and solid. What I haven't done is I haven't slid it yet. So I'm going to set up the camera. And we're going to find out if it slides together. Oh, I hope it does.
the front or in the center here I've got a turnbuckle goes up to one of these so that's kind of keeping that one that could be a little tighter So this is what I came up with. Uh, this helps significantly. See if it closes easier. Today is April 3rd, 2020. Had a fun little development happen on the van. Check this out. Cushions. Girlfriend sewed these up for me. We now have a legitimate bed back here. Let me show you what it looks like folded up. All right, and here's what it looks like in couch mode. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's funny, those cushions were nice and tight five minutes ago. And then I sat on them. <laughs> Quite a bit for uh, sewing these up for me. Uh, she did a great job. It's nice to have... Uh, some cushions in here. They're not perfect, but they'll certainly do the job and better than I would have done. So, thanks Cindy.